You can't tell me that when you look at lakes and oceans, ponds, waterfalls, like all the creatures, like insects and like children and think that there's no God. Like when you look at beautiful things, anything like your beautiful wife or your beautiful kids or your beautiful cat or dog, you can't tell me when you look at them, you can't believe there's a God because it must have took the most unbelievable but believable thing to create such beautiful things like see these beautiful colors on that and like I love like just little stuff that just make me happy and it's so comforting and beautiful and warm I love I, I see art and poetry in so many different things it don't have to just be words okay or a picture that sells in the museum for like a thousand million billion dollars <laughs> hundreds of dollars but um I always look at these things and always think that there got to be there has to be a god like think about it like this like when you die think how depressing it must be to be like okay when i die i'm not going nowhere i'm just going to die like i live this world and i'm just going to die and that's the end like, don't that seem sad? Don't that seem impossible? I just wish people see it like this. Like when you die, it's not, you're not done yet because you was created by something. You wasn't created by no science, scientific stuff. I'm just saying it's just hard for people. Well, it's hard for me to believe people look at so many beautiful things and not know that there was a creator. Just like you create YouTube videos. Jesus created earth and he created heaven. Jesus, I mean, God is a YouTube creator of everything that exists. Like what I'm saying is that was kind of backwards. Like there wouldn't even be no YouTube and technology if, if it wasn't for, of course, people. But before there was people, God still created everything. And he may, didn't create technology, but again, there wouldn't be people to create that if it wasn't God. So when people post content on YouTube, TikTok, and yes, the, whoever invented YouTube and people who invented technology and the computer and PC, but you have to think about it deeper than that. How was these things possible to begin with? How was people created? But I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just see beautiful things and always think there gotta be a God. Not because I don't believe from the Bible and just like since I was six years old. But I think about I put my shoes in other people. I put my shoes in other people's shoes and understand why they don't believe in it. And people believe in you know gravity to sit on things to travel. Anything where you have to literally trust that you won't fall. That's how it is believing in God. When you get on a plane and you trust you ain't going to crash or it's going to not stay afloat in the air. Or when you sit on a chair or when you simply see the leaves blowing and the wind blowing on the waters. Like of a lake or a pond. I always look and just be like, I know there's a guy. I, I know it has to be somebody as beautiful as that who created earth because God is so beautiful because he created so much beautiful things. That's why this world is beautiful, but the people are, are beautiful, but their souls and how they act and behave are ugly, which makes them ugly, which nobody's ugly. Everybody's unique. But I'm talking about if you want to act foolish and sinful or in bad ways that's why this world is bad this world is bad but it's a beautiful place it's not an ugly place because sand fell on the earth because of adam and eve none of this was per none of this and a lot of people blame god because they were like why would god allow this and i understand it it does not have to do with god it has to do with the devil and, and when evil fell in this world the and the devil fell out of heaven had to be cast out of heaven excuse me 
this is why bad stuff happened. But I just wish people just take time to look at things and be like, there gotta be a, there gotta be a God. God bless. And Jesus, his son.